Greetings, everyone. Hourglass time, Aquarius season. So I have this strong uh, question coming through. Now that you're frustrated, I'm no, I'm, I've got, I'm frustrated. Now what? So maybe some of you just told someone off. You know, you gave them a piece of your mind. You had it, you explode. And now what? Where is this person at? All right, so that may be this. This may be for some of you. It's not going to be for every one of you. It's just something that's coming through. I'm fed up now. What? What's the next move? What's next? It could be for the next seven days. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, visualizations help bring you to help bring you together. So you're mad with this person. They know, but they're still visualizing you guys being together. This could be a, a certain soulmate. Hey, I'm fed up. Now what? They call. They're trying to call you back. Yeah, they want to enjoy time with you. So even though you're mad for whatever reason, they still want to enjoy life with you, or they still want to enjoy being with you. Okay. So this is how you know this is your soulmate because you can't stay mad at them. You can't stay vex or fed up with them for too long uh what the f was that outside i know you heard that drop <laughs> all right i'm fed up now what what's the next move so this person may uh try to do something to pick your moods up they may want to uh make arrangements to travel come see you stay optimistic about your love life and engagement Baby, don't go. Baby, don't go. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive, uh, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Your love life is ascending to a higher level. Some of you, things are about to go in your favor. Some of you could be fake mad. <laughs> to get what you want from this person. You bad boy. Bad girl. All right, let's see what's going to tie this together. Take a chance and bet. So some of you, you may have, <laughs> this may have been a risky move to act vex or to be vex. We have the mountain. So this person wants to tackle this challenge. So whether you, whether or not you fake mad, they, they try to move swiftly on this or they're trying their best to move as fast as they could. They're learning something with the book. They're learning something. Take a chance and bet. Ten of Pentacles, wild cards. Okay, so they may learn or they're going to learn. You're going to learn today. <laughs> we may have a bad gambler here as well that keeps record of the money that they make and lose. They feel in the pressure and they feel like they don't need to be following the book right now. Yep. I know you guys saw that two of cups energy. You may be a fire sign. Look at that. Yeah. This person ain't trying to be powerless right now. So they got, they learned something. They got a, a, a aha moment. Oh, 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 okay. I get, I get what's going on now. I'm about to get out of this rope. <laughs> and we have the world. So it's unfinished business. I'm fed up. Now what? They feel like it's unfinished business. And they want to pull or renew a beginning with your fixed sign. Because your happiness is their happiness. You may be the queen of wands energy where um, you're very intense with the black cat energy. A very intense soul. You're very bold. Outgoing. And this person may feel like you would outgrow and outgo them. If they don't shape, shape up. You, yeah, you better shape up because I need a man. <laughs> that grease lightning. So yeah, they know that you bold and you mean what you say. Yeah, they feel the pressure with that queen of wands energy. So they're about to take this uh, higher. They're about to take a leap of faith or a risk. They're like, hey, take on my money. <laughs> take on my money. <laughs> Oh, you want me to spend for it? I'll pay for it. I That's some sort of Chris Brown song I saw today. I don't know what the name of the song is, but that's basically what he was saying. 
I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Run, come, give me, because I pay for it. I'm also hearing risky. Risky, yes. Yeah. Your body risky. So that's some popcorn with Davido. Your body risky. Mm -mm. So you may be like someone that keeps this person on their toes. Apply that pressure. It's like lay down with me. I've been getting a lot of songs like that too. Come lay down with me. Lay down and cuddle me. Lay down and cover me. I'm fed up. Now what? They like take your ass to sleep. <laughs> Come take a nap with me and shut up. A cat nap with the black cat and the queen of sword, uh, queen of wands. Yeah, they have a lot on their mind. But they thinking about how they going to deal with this with you. They need to think fast or they're trying to think fast. They astral travel to you. That's one for the books is what I heard. That's one for the books. Maybe they're trying to buy you a book. Maybe they're trying to buy you a book. That is such a sweet present, books. Hmm. Number eight. Pretty strong. Life path eight. 12, 21. Life path 12. Life path three. Somebody could have been born on the 21st. The fourth. Eighth. Tenth. 21st, 26th. Tell me about this person. You fed up? Now what? What's their next move? Oh, shit. So they're thinking. They're thinking about it in, even in their sleep, bro, bro. They're trying to communicate to you in your dream or in your sleep. Communication feels blocked. Or this person is like... They're like sulking, but they're trying to like think they're trying to imagine a way how to bring you something here with the knight of pentacles so they may feel like they're moving too slow and time is moving too fast we have leo energy with the strength card gentle confidence they're trying to be gentle and patient they want to persuade you or convince you baby don't go they're like, damn, you're so pushy. You don't got to shove it down my throat like that. <laughs> no, eat it up. Swallow it. Drink it down. I'm going to make you swallow your pride. Yeah. Like I'm the only girl in the world. That Rihanna song. I'm going to make you swallow your pride. Mm -hmm. That song, song kind of gamey to me. <laughs> game on. Game recognized game. All right, let's see. Number four, four of cups. Hmm. They ain't trying to fall from grace. They ain't trying to fall from grace here with you. So they want to take a leap of faith. They want to take action. They don't care how foolish they look. Or it was foolish for them to do what they did. They made a bad, they made a mistake and you tripped out or you got fed up. They made a bad bet. Or they gambled and lost. And some of you mad the money gone. Or they spent it on something that was a waste of time. Maybe they made you a promise and they broke it. And you had enough. You're like, I'm done. Time and time again. With these promises. You know, great people make promises. You know, losers break them. And they're like, oh. <gasps> she called me a loser. <laughs> Something so. So they thinking about all those times they broke in the promise. Promises are comfort to a fool. And you're like, I ain't no fool no more. You better get on my face. <laughs> and they're like, damn, the pressure is real. The pressure is real. Maybe how you did it, you did it with a lot of like elegancy with the queen of wands. And it was like, you strong. You're a strong ass bitch. You're a strong ass woman. Listen, they don't want this to end. You're my destiny. It's just the circumstances, baby. And you're like, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> or they could read your mind. It's like maybe they, they did some things before and they remembered how you reacted and now you're not reacting. And it's just like, 
the pressure is real that's all i'm getting the pressure is real mm -mm. i heard something very like sexy and rude but i'm not gonna repeat it four of cups what is going on with this person what is their next move they better get up off of that tree ten of pentacles again just take all my money just take it we have the eight of wands twice what is this person trying to do they're trying to get this bread up like now they could be waking up like at the crack of dawn getting out in that street maybe they're working on so on uh, maybe the maybe they promised you something or there was multiple um planning going on and they just ain't they too slow or they taking too much time and now they're trying to power through this they're big factuated with you just just take all my money man <laughs> just take it or maybe this is you telling them that they take in too much money they spend in too much money with gambling some of you this is gambling shit bro bro okay so they want this wealth with you oh i'm hearing that you hold the money Something about you holding the money or wherever the money goes, you fo they follow and use the money or something, something, so. Something, something, so. Okay, I get it. I'm hearing nine to ten months. Maybe this may be a time stamp or you gave them an ultimatum. You better be ready by nine to ten months or else I'm out. And they're like, damn, I got to propose. So they're looking at a ton of rings. Okay, so freedom, love and freedom is in this Ten of Pentacles. So they astral traveled, hey. Or their dream um, communicating with you. They're trying to send you loving thoughts so you don't sway or something going on. The money coming through now, some fast transaction with some bread. They're feeling lonely. It's hard to explain something to you. And they're feeling lonely. So maybe they, they build up their money. And now they're like, okay, I have enough I could give. Let me send you something. Or let me do this real quick. They want to do something really quick. To show you that they want a commitment. Or they don't want to break a commitment. I'm tired of this king of swords. Everybody's just up in their, their mind. And then want to take like these rash uh, moves. Like stop playing with me. You better think it over. Come out from your head and go into your heart. Right? That's what y'all want to tell them. Some of you are like, no, I want to tell them stop playing with me. <laughs> They have a lot of anxiety about this situation. I'm just looking at my notes here. Honey boo boos. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm getting that you don't you don't want perfect or something about not being perfect and they're they're building confidence or they have the confidence and the passion. Something is pent up with the um strength card. So their money suddenly took a good turn, starting to build up. I'm hearing they can't lose you because when their crown was crooked, you fixed it for them and you put their chin up. I'm seeing like you raised their chin up. So maybe that's you're the strength behind the throne. So you're the strength. You're like the backbone. You're like the strong pillar in their life. And I don't think they feel like they can't afford to lose you. Yeah. So maybe they kept making mistakes. Maybe you keep forgiving them by fixing their crown. And now you're not with it. So maybe the excuses ran out. And it's like no more excuses. Possibly gave them an ultimatum. I'm looking at my notes you guys. So that's why you hear all of that paper. Oh, so it is all about that paper. So this person has increased money and now they're trying to do something favorable for you. Maybe children or family kept you guys apart. 
somebody has like allergies or there's like um, a burn or somebody gets hives when they're uh, anxious. It's, they get the itchies or they're like itching with a dope pet. <laughs> yeah, so maybe you're a dope. You're a dope person. You're a dope soul. And they go through withdrawals um, when you pull away or your happiness is just their happiness. Whatever makes you happy makes them smile, makes them proud. There's a profit here, a profit of money. Maybe this person just got the profit back. Or they made um, some sort of quota and they got it. They got it now and they want to continue with you. They want to treat you or they want to send you money so you could treat yourself. What is this Knight of Pentacles doing? What is their actions? So even though they feel like they're moving slow or they look like they're moving slow to you, a lot of things are happening rapidly in their life. Connecting the dots. It's like suddenly I know what to do. I'm going to do it now. Yeah. I'm seeing like pimples. Somebody may have acne. Or razor bumps on the face. Two of pentacles. Seven of pentacles equals nine of pentacles. I'm being told to add queen of cups. Ooh, they can't afford to... They can't afford to lose this love. You may be an oracle or you're very in tune with this person. You're like a guardian or a protector or a nurturer to them. You know, you have the you have the ability to kind of tame them a lot or calm them down. You're like a remedy. Some of you may be natural nurses or healers. You just bring a lot of peace. And right now, you're super emotional. You could be fed up because your emotions are being taken for granted. And this person is like, I can't afford to lose you. So I'm, I'm, I'm just be patient because I'm, I'm wanting to really impress you here. Nine of Pentacles. So, uh... Maybe they're earning a lot of money right now. Maybe they're gaining a lot of sales. Maybe they have a lot of things that they sell. Salespeople or they're just getting business. They're dedicated, they're dedicated to making this work and making their money work too. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like they're trying not to show you that they're hurt or they're emotional too about what you said or how you're acting. They're just trying to get the job done. They're trying to stay focused. Sometimes, you know, when we're really um, attached to someone or their opinions or their happiness really matters, it could sometimes push us off our uh, off of the ball because it's like damn my shorty angry with me or my guy is angry i can't eat i can't focus what should i do should i go and run and get their favorite chocolate like what should i do so your person is trying is building themselves out of a financial mess or things was just rocky and now it's it's brighter now but i feel like they're stressed out because something is not happening fast enough for them and they, f they feel like they're running the risk of losing you. Yeah, something just came into fruition for them. Maybe today's payday, Friday. They don't want any more delays. They know that you're upset of the delays and they don't want any more delays themselves. So let's see what they want to tell you. Channel messages. 27... 72, 72, 72, 4, 4, 80, 80. I believe in us. Yeah, listen. <sighs> this person wished that you would uh, reach out more. So maybe right now they know that you're emotional and giving you space. They feel like it's best for you to calm down or for you to just relax but listen, whatever, whatever made you upset, frustrated, fed up, they're trying to overcome it as fast as they could. They cannot control the way how something is moving. It's out of their hands, but they're trying their best. Uh, they have a lot of love for you and they wish that they could communicate in the way that you want them to. 
It's like they want to tell you all the right things, but it's just words. I need to show you. I need to give you more proof that I'm serious about us, the health of this relationship. Unfortunate events. Yeah, it's a very challenging time with the with the mountain. And some disasters could be coming out of nowhere. I feel like this person does not tell you that with the King of Swords. We saw the King of Swords, right? They don't tell you what they have to go through um, to uh, meet your expectations or your requests, your requirements. So it's a difficult time for this person or it's a difficult time for both of you. And you're being super emotional withdrawn. So they could see on your face that you're just fed up. Like, I had enough. It's like you're treating them like they don't know what they're doing or they don't know uh, how you feel. Maybe if for some reason you feel like they're inconsiderate or they're just like a clown. Not, I don't know. Some of you may feel like this person is putting work or because they're not talking too much. You feel like they don't care what's going on with you or what you were trying to tell them. What is this last message about? It's like, I'm done. It's like, I don't want to talk anymore. My cards. Freedom. So remember, I talked about that with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, freedom and love, wealth. Did I say it? I hope I said it because that's what the Ten of Pentacles mean. Like financial security, enough to be free. You don't have to worry about it when you're on vacation or when you're taking a day off. It's like, you made enough so you could play now. So I feel like that's this person. They could be like extreme. So they throw themselves into work and they equally throw themselves into family time or play time. They could be a gambler or something or something that they're doing is very risky. Breaking free. So yeah, they want all this tension to be gone. They want you to be free up like how you were optimistic always being positive always being nurturing they need that back uh-huh yeah this is a person that does not like to tell you everything that's going on in the playbook i feel safer in silence mute so maybe they're trying to save what's actually happening like the difficulties because they don't want you to get even more emotional about it or um it's almost like they don't want to make you worried or bring down your moods because of what they are going through. They want to show you that they're capable or reliable of meeting whatever made you upset. So they're learning a lot about how you act or how you respond to not getting what you want or when you're fed up about time and time again broken promises five steps back i want to tell you the truth but would you listen acceptance clearing the air five steps back so th things slow down and they had some sort of unexpected difficulties that they just are not telling you that that's what caused the slowdown or the stalemate all right so it could be a secret or they're just like a closed book when it comes to those days. It's like you don't need to know, oh, well, I had a, a major sale today, but the person backed out. It's like, why tell you all of that? I just didn't make it today. Uh, instead of asking, you know, about you, 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 ask me how are we doing today? Like, the both of you may feel like y'all is not being considerate of the other, other person's sacrifice and efforts is like I don't know I, I keep getting that you're gonna be in your mood you're gonna have your mood you're gonna be in your mood and this person is trying to stay focused but they feel it very deeply they feel when you're unhappy because your happiness is their happiness so they might not even be eating or they might be going so hard that they forget to eat at times so that's what i'm saying they miss how you would be concerned did you eat how was your day they miss that because you know having those simple little things it helps people um to stay on track to feel good and proud about going out there because every day is a risk you know anything could happen 
You know what I'm saying? And I feel like without that care that you give, it makes this person feel even more alone. They're not sleeping well because somebody getting up or they're just not able to rest as comfortably anymore because <clears throat> maybe you're not there to, to hold them and rub them. You know, if they had a hard day, I'm seeing a lot of eights here too. We have eights, a little eight peeking here, and we have the eight there as well. I'm hearing, don't go bye-bye. Some of you, this person may have a gold teeth or chip teeth. Something about the teeth. Maybe around the canine teeth, there is gold or something. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much. Check out the description box below on how you could give back to the channel. And I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.